The weather outside might be frightful, but the fishing can still be delightful. So the other day I was out fishing a pond and a dude drove up beside me and asked me why I was fishing out in the cold. I get it, it's winter, it's, it's chilly out here. Only, only real bass, you know, nuts would be out fishing right now. But there's quite a few reasons why you should fish in the winter time. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you my top three. So my number one reason for fishing in the winter time is the fish are bigger. The bass are much bigger right now. They've been feeding up during the fall. They're just, they're fat and they're plump. Other than the springtime, you're not really gonna find fish as big and fat as they are right now. I get it, you know, deer season, duck season, it only comes around once a year. But if you really wanna get on one of those trophy size, you know, giant bass, right now is the time to go. Now we're gonna to go to reason 1.5 because I don't think that that really goes along to a number two. It's it's very similar to number one. And that's that these big girls, they tend to bunch up. If you find one, usually you're gonna find quite a few of them and that just leads for a good day. So, and like I said, I think it's easier to find fish in the winter time than it is in the springtime. They're, they're more predictable right now. And in the spring, you know, they're shallow, but in some occasions, some lakes, you just can't sight fish them. And in other lakes, you know, you just can't get them to bite it. It's real finicky, but right now, being winter time, once you find them and you can get a few to bite, you can really ignite them and get a little winter school action, you know, not schooling action, but you can get them to eat pretty good. My number two reason kind of feeds off my number 1.5 reason, and that is that bass get kind of predictable. Now, I love a good chase. I like grinding, trying to find some fish, but in the wintertime, it's hard not to love, you know, knowing where these fish are probably located. And there's nothing better than getting on a school and just chilling out on the bottom and then being ready to eat. That's like the dream winter scenario for me. I look forward to it all the time. And that's one of my favorite things about the wintertime, honestly, is you know where they're at. It takes some of the guesswork out of it. It can still be difficult. It can still be hard to make them eat. But whenever you get on those fish, you really get on those fish. Usually there's some good ones in it, which goes back to step number one. See, all these kind of play off on each other. Step one helps step 1.5, 1.5 helps step two. Number three is one of the greatest reasons of all, and that is you pretty much don't have to worry about people. You've got the occasional shotgun going off over your head or something, maybe, you know, duck season going on and everything, but generally, you're by yourself you have the lake to yourself and if you do see people a lot of times in you know what i've seen they're usually crappie guys so you don't even really need to worry about them you can go do your own thing and have a great time out there this winter so that's why i fish in the winter time these steps kind of feed off of each other as much as i complain about winter time fishing it can be really good it can really really pay off in the long run that's about all I've got for you guys in this video. There's some cool stuff coming this week. I think next week, one of my biggest dreams may or may not be happening. I don't know yet. Just a little foreshadowing. But in the meantime, that's all. I'll see you guys right here probably next week on Ken Arnold Fishing. Y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.